Abraham, the father of Isaac, continued to remember the words spoken to him by God. Many years before, God said, Leave your country and your people and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the people on the earth will be blessed through you. Abraham taught Isaac the importance of obeying the words of God so that Isaac and all his descendants would continue to receive the blessings from God. Many years later, Isaac married an Israelite woman named Rebekah. When Rebekah became pregnant, she and Isaac were very happy and excited. As the babies grew in her belly, they became very active and moved around continually. One day she asked the Lord, Why are the babies moving around so much? The Lord replied, Two nations are in your womb. They will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. When it was time for the babies to be born, they named the firstborn baby Esau. He had red hair that covered his entire body, and the second baby to be born had a hold on Esau's heel, and they named him Jacob. As the boys grew up, Esau loved the outdoors and became a very good hunter. Jacob was a quiet man and worked among the tents. One day, Jacob was cooking a delicious stew when his brother Esau came in from a long day of hunting. He said to Jacob, Hurry and get me a bowl of that stew. I'm starving. Jacob answered, I will get you a bowl of stew if you will sell me your firstborn birthright. Esau replied, What good is a birthright to me if I'm going to starve to death? So Esau quickly sold his birthright to Jacob for a bowl of stew. Many years passed, and Isaac grew very old. His eyes could no longer see, and he knew his time to die was coming. He called his older son Esau to him and said, Please, take your bow and arrow and go and catch some wild game for me. Prepare this meat for me, that I may enjoy it and give you my blessing before I die. Isaac's wife, Rebekah, heard him tell Esau this, so she quickly called Jacob to her. She told Jacob to go and kill two young goats. When he returned, Rebekah told Jacob to go and put on his brother's clothes. She quickly prepared the goat meat and then covered Jacob's smooth skin with the goat skin in order to trick his father Isaac into thinking it was Esau. Jacob took the food to his father and said, My father. Yes, my son. Who is it? His father replied, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have brought you the meat that you want so that you may give me your blessing. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Please, come close to me so that I can touch you and see if you have the hairy skin of my oldest son Esau, and then I will know for sure. After Isaac touched Jacob, he said, You have the voice of Jacob, but the hands of Esau. Are you really my firstborn son, Esau? I am, Jacob replied. Isaac then ate the meat that Jacob had brought him, and then spoke the blessing over Jacob. May all the people serve you, and the nations bow down to you. You will be lord over your brothers, and may those who curse you be cursed, and those that bless you be blessed. This was the same blessing that God spoke over Jacob's grandfather, Abraham, many years before. When Esau returned and was told that Jacob had gone in and received the blessing before him, he was very angry and upset. He said to his father Isaac, Jacob has taken my birthright, and now he's taken my blessing? Is there any blessing left for me? He cried bitter tears of sadness over losing his blessing. All Isaac could do was tell Esau that from then on he would serve his younger brother Jacob until the end of his days. Amen.